Welcome to CNET Top 5, where each time we meet, we count down another hot CNET list. I'm Tom Merritt. This spring, a site called newlaunches.com caused quite a commotion when it came out with its list of Apple flops. But we here at the Top 5 Nerve Center didn't agree with all their choices. These are the Top 5 Apple flops in our humble opinion. Now, don't be ashamed, Apple. Your greatness is measured in your failures. You haven't had a flop in a long time. I'm sure he's still out on that whole Apple TV thing. So join me now for a walk down memory lane. At number five, Apple III. It was meant to bring Apple into business and it suffered a recall. It never really caught on. The Lisa and later the Mac stole its thunder. Coming in at number four, the Newton. Now granted, the MP2100 may be one of the best pieces of tech ever, but it flopped. Apple wanted the Newton to be what the iPod became, dominant, but it never measured up and Steve Jobs boom, killed it. Up to number three, John Scully. Now, maybe not the man so much as the years he was in charge. The Steve Jobs interregnum was not kind to Apple and the whole company almost flopped until they brought the master back. Sliding in at number two, the G4 Cube. This was supposed to revolutionize desktop computing, a computer without a fan. Unfortunately, that ended up meaning nobody was a fan of the computer. It was the mini before its time. Before we get to number one, let's look on the bright side, shall we, at the top five Apple winners, just so you don't think we're always haters. All right, let's get to our number one. This is the floppiest of the flops, a universally derided product. At number one, it's the Puck Mouse. Please, Puck Mouse defenders, and we know there's one of you, don't bother. Everybody knows the one thing Apple is the worst at is developing a mouse, and this was the low point even for them. One hidden button in a round object with no other features? Even the Mighty Mouse is better. I know you Apple fanboys and girls have some issues with this list, so let it rip. Leave a comment in our blog at blog.cnettv.com. That's it for this edition of CNET Top 5. I'm Tom Merritt. See you next time. For more video like this, go to cnet.com and click on CNET TV.